Hi there. Here's a short revision video covering the rise of sovereign wealth funds in the world economy. Now, sovereign wealth funds are funds run by foreign governments, and they've been in existence since the 1950s, although most have been set up since the year 2000. So countries such as China, Kazakhstan, Singapore, Dubai, Norway, Qatar, Abu Dhabi, these countries have all built up a sizable surplus of domestic savings and overinvestment, and many of these countries have large, persistently big current account surpluses, and these have been key factors allowing them to establish and accumulate a sovereign wealth fund. Here's a chart showing the value of assets under the control of sovereign wealth funds, and you can see that in 2010 they were worth just under five trillion dollars, but in December 2015, despite a modest decline since 2014. Sovereign wealth funds had more than $7 trillion of assets under management. This chart shows a ranking in January 2016 of the world's biggest investment funds. So Norway's oil fund, government pension fund, is the world's biggest sovereign wealth fund and it's worth more than $820 billion. According to a report in 2013, Norway's government pension fund owns on average about 2.5% of every listed European company. In third place is China's Investment Corporation, with assets under management of $745 billion. Now China established its own official sovereign wealth fund, CIC, with the aim of earning high returns by investing abroad the dollars that China earns from its exports. Indeed, in 2012, in the UK context, CIC bought a 9% stake in Thames Water. It also has investments in France's GDF Suez, Canada's Sunshine Oil Sands, and Trinidad and Tobago's Atlantic Liquid Natural Gas Company. Uh, look, you can see the other big ones. China has three of the top sovereign wealth funds in the world. And notice at the bottom there, Australia has established a sovereign wealth fund, Australia Future Fund, and there's also one in Kazakhstan. Here's a, here's a map showing the distribution of sovereign wealth funds by region. As you can see, uh, nearly 80% of all of the money under sovereign wealth funds lie in countries in Asia and the Middle East. Sovereign wealth funds having an increasingly significant effect on not just the world economy, but also if we think about the UK. So, for example, Singapore's uh, Tamask, Tamasek uh, sovereign wealth fund has stakes in Barclays and Standard Charter. Qatar and Dubai, between them, have about one-third of the London Stock Exchange. The government of Singapore has built up a small stake in British land. And Dubai International Capital, or DIC, has equity stakes in lots of UK companies, including Travelodge and also the London Eye. Many sovereign wealth funds have project, uh, provided an injection of fresh capital for the British, for the British banking system. Uh, notice there that Africa has a small percentage of the sovereign wealth assets in June 2015. A good example to quote is Ghana. Ghana has launched their own uh, sovereign stabilisation fund using some of the revenues from their exports. Now that stabilisation fund is being used, if you like, as a fiscal buffer stock to help support the Ghanaian government to keep spending relatively high when, for example, there is a, a fiscal shortfall caused by a fall in global oil prices. The key point to take away from the short presentation is that sovereign wealth funds are an increasingly important part of the world economy. They have many, many investments around the world and that has significant consequences for developed and developing countries.